So, going to do some microscopy today. Yeah, for anyone new who followed the raid, um, my name's Dr. NPHD. You can just call me Marcus. Today we're going to be doing some microscopy stuff. I actually also wanted to 3D print something quick. So that's what you're seeing right now um, is the uh, design software uh, Fusion 360, Autodesk Fusion 360. It'll take two minutes to design what I want because I have some new samples. I really want to get some tardigrades back in my little tardigrade, uh, what, do, what do I even call it? My little tardigrade colony, but I need somewhere to put them. So I want to make a little pen, like a little, like P E N, a pen, uh, to make sure that they all stay put where I need them to go. If I even find any. All right. Just gotta set up my super sophisticated setup, which is just my cell phone strapped to my microscope. Whoa. Hope everyone's Sunday is going well. So far, at least. All right. I also finally sprung for the six dollar uh, software to hopefully have better views on the microscope. So just gonna start this quick. Come on, are you gonna work? Maybe. There you are. Cool. Cool. All right. That should be good. Let's check that out. Ooh, it's a little off. It's very strangely off, but that should be good. Oh, that's why it's H it's HD now. Actually, let's check that out. Get some of my pre-made slides out and ready. I'll just have to center that. Let's see who's here. Maddie Holmes, welcome. Brian, I saw you. Manogard, I saw you. Science Streams, obviously, I saw you there too. Cool. Whoa. Red alert. Ain't it funny how time slips away? <laughs> and now that song will be stuck in my head all day. <laughs> Manigard, wow, thank you for three months. That's amazing. I really appreciate it. It 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 gets me going. But yeah, time goes by very, very fast. Cannot believe it. Da, da, da. Cool. There we go. That actually is like I can already tell that's, you know, maybe not like perfect, but that's already pretty good. I'm going to increase the amount of black border because that just kind of looks cool. Makes it look more professional when in fact it's just that it's not perfect. <laughs> so, all right. Cool. That should all be set up. Um, but let's quickly make a little home for some tardigrades. There we go. Uh, it's not going to be, this also is not going to be too perfect, actually. Whoa. That's a little bit better. I did not want everyone to see my, uh, my desktop, though. That's not right. 
There we go. There we go. Gonna move some stuff over. This is also like not not a good setup. This is kind of my uh my random screen for things. All right. Cool. 3D software. Um what do we need? I've got a little slide and of course I don't remember how big they are. I need my calipers. All I'm going to do really is make a small border so that I can kind of make like a little pool that hopefully the tardigrades will be a little bit happier on. Um, and it will also keep them nice and contained. So I just need, let's call it, twenty by eh, fifteen by fifteen. Fifteen by fifteen. So this will be a little pen. Okay, that should be simple. Simple, simple. And what are, what are we doing? Millimeters, yeah. So the inner length I want to, or the outer length I want to be 15. There we go. And I actually don't mind if it's a little bit smaller. But we we'll want to make this edge of probably a full millimeter. Actually, a, f a half. Well, we need something that will actually print nicely. We'll do that. Okay. Finish that sketch. Go back in 3D view. And then we will change this so it is 0.5, I think, was pretty good. Although, no, I think we did as little as 0.4. I want it as thin as possible. 0.4. Okay. All right. That should be pretty good. It's all I really need. Um, I don't think tardigrades need much for enrichment, so I don't think I need to put anything for them to like play in or play on on here. But we can always add that later. I'm going to 3D print this, though. Hello? All right, export that. So this is tardigrade pen. Save that, close that, get the 3D printing software out. And this will take, probably after it warms up, probably like 10 minutes to actually print. We'll look at the stuff on the microscope in the meantime, but um, might as well get this going. So today I hope, actually since I started a little early, uh, hopefully I'll be able to like, you know, go all the way to four or maybe even later. This whole week my schedule is a slightly bit, a slight bit more open than normal. So hopefully I'll be able to actually add some extra streams in. Maybe, we'll see. Probably non-science things because I don't have that much science stuff to talk about. Um, but the reason is because I want to unlock the free emote tier. So it's five more emote slots, and you don't have to be subscribed to use them, which I think will be a great benefit. All right. So this is what should be printing. Uh, I actually believe, yeah, I want a raft. So we'll slice this, see what it says. Oh, two minutes. Let's see how many layers. Ooh, yes. A single a single layer, exactly what I want. That's good. Let's check. Yep. Right there. One layer. Perfect. Of course, now I have to get up and go get the micro SD card.
All right. You'll have to leave early. You've got a twice monthly music listening party to host at 2.30. Well, I won't feel bad. Well, that sounds cool. What, what do you, where, how, do, how do you host it? Is it, is it online? Is that where you're hosting something like that? Is it in person? Oh, 3.30 Eastern Time. <laughs> well, I mean, it's always better to, you know, maybe be a little early than late. Regardless, same thing, you know, leave when you have to. Uh, attendance is not required. I will not be taking attendance today. All right, so that should be good. Just going to go ahead and remove that. Oh, no. Oh, I almost dropped it. Super cool. Now I will move away from the camera one more time as I go set this up and to get the uh, 3D printer wh whirring away. Ah, it's a theme night. You gather in Discord and host a listening party via Spotify for everyone to connect to. That sounds really cool. I've meant to uh, get my own like movie watching sort of thing going on, but I don't know. I just never find the time to actually sit down and do it. All right. So... Okay, so what do we have for today? We have a bunch of stuff, actually. Um, so I was down at a very slow moving, very dirty looking stream, like a stream of water, not an internet stream. I also have a lake sample to re replace the one that I have, but was just kind of dying out, didn't really, you know, not doing much fun anymore. And I have a bunch of sort of rehydrated samples to just kind of hang around in um, I'm hoping hoping that we'll find some tardigrades yeah find some tardigrades in here because I really want to transfer them into this little colony and kind of get them going um, which is why I want this thing printing first of all let's test out this camera a little bit more I do want to see so oh Okay. New settings. Video quality. Medium. Autofocus. White balance. Exposure lock. Okay. New features. But of course, the new problem, which is that if I zoom in too far, my phone decides to use one of its other three cameras. But actually, this is looking pretty good, though. So what are we looking at? I just picked a random one. This is uh, rhabdo my rhabdomyosarcoma. So it is uh, testes tissue. Cool. Um, Oh, today's theme is animals. People submit playlists up to 30 minutes and the host puts them into one combined list and introduces each playlist as they come around. Cool. And you're down for anything with tardigrades? Me too. The problem with those little scamps is that we have to find them, which is why I wanted to start a new uh, colony of them so that it was easier to find them. We do have that uh, dehydrated tardigrade. At some point we have to rehydrate her and... Uh, you know, see if she survived, which she will have, probably. I'm just not sure when we want to start that, to be honest. Okay, let me try out this white balance thing. Um, fluorescent? Ah, oh, that's so much better. 
That is so much better. That's much, much more like what I actually see because everything is uh, kind of colored a little bit more yellow than it should be. Oh, that's great. Let's zoom in even farther, actually. Now I'm very excited that this is uh, working out better than I thought. Oh, wow. So the dark splotches we're looking at are individual nuclei in this tumor tissue, uh, which is derived from human testes. Unfortunately, I'm not a pathologist, so I don't know exactly what everything is. And I hear the 3D printer going off on the side, so it's starting. Cool, let's grab a... Um, Oh, this is so cool now that I'm on it. I I might mess up my setup, but I'm going to try to zoom in further and then mo just physically move the camera to try and get the other camera. And we'll just kind of see what that looks like. It might look kind of shaky, though. Oh. Uh, okay, it chose not to. Ooh. Yeah, the focal plane is not... I'm super happy with me. Oh, looks good on screen. That's good. I'm, I'm glad. Yeah, sort of a problem I had sort of always known about was the fact that just the color was always so off and I couldn't change it with my previous setup. Oh, it looks so bright and perfect. I bet when we look at things that are green, they'll actually show up green, not that annoying yellow that it, everything has been since day one of my streams. All right, that's super cool. That's great, wow. I'm so happy. This has put me in such a good mood to start off with. It's fantastic, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, trying to decide. Dirt sample. By dirt sample, I mean the dirty stream sample. Here, let's just let's just start with something. All right. We'll go with this. It's just some good old, good old moss. Let's start there and see what we can find. Goodbye, testes. All right, is anyone home? Ooh. Oh, answer is yes. So this is under a cover slip. Uh, that unless that thing calms down, I'm not gonna be able to check it out easily. Where is he? Well, that's fun. Our little pirouetting friend. Uh, he should be squished down. I actually don't know why he's able to uh, get out of focus so easily. Looks like there's just a bit of extra water in here, unfortunately. And except for him, doesn't seem like there's uh, anyone home. I'm kind of sit here and just watch this for a second. Oh, there's a little something floating around there. Uh, I got this from near a 
body of water. And I think the area tends to flood a little. I was actually kind of expecting some diatoms or something. Oh, Miss Rizzle, welcome. Or hello, if you were followed the raid here and just haven't had a chance to say hello. Why? Why is that emote wall doubling up? Taking your kid out to the park, gonna lurk for a bit and leave you up on your desktop. Okay, great. Well, have fun. I hope it's a nice day. It's a beautiful fall day in my area. Fall came very, very suddenly about three days ago. I'm really, really enjoying it after a long, hot summer. Although, are the cold temperatures why nothing, nothing's here? Maybe? Hmm. That's actually a thought. Although these, oh, there's a diatom, finally. Yeah, there's some diatoms in here. Okay, okay. But nothing, no one's moving. All right. Okay, well, I don't want to focus too much on this if it's not that interesting. I mean, lots of very pretty rocks. Plan to come here anyway, so you're glad Scott raided you? Yeah, I was just uh, sitting there when he was mentioning um, that he was trying to raid someone. I was like, oh, I'm about to go live in like 15 minutes. I, so I changed the plan to just go live then and there. Oh, my 3D print might be done. It's still hot in Texas. Uh yeah, it's cold enough here that I actually want to go get a pumpkin spice latte, which are my guilty pleasures. I like good coffee, like really snooty good coffee, but also pumpkin spice lattes from Starbucks. There we go. And my phone just buzzed. Oh no. Brian, I saw your message about it being laggy again. Hey, wow, really? Um, yeah, nothing on my end is indicating anything wrong with the stream. Um, oh, you'll be back soon? All right, have a good walk. Yeah, I don't know why it's... Uh, so bad lately like as of these past two streams um it, which is kind of annoying nothing has changed except that well the only thing that has changed is that google fiber is now in our area and we are making the switch not because of stream but since i'm suddenly having problems with la a laggy stream i'm kind of hoping that switching to google fiber will fix some of it it's only six dollars more expensive per month and yet it will uh be like three times the speed three times the uh, download speed far more than three times upload speed so let's hope that that fixes things whoa i just oh someone someone's moving by i saw him i saw him i gotta zoom out it's better now that's good ah Wow, he's really fast. Okay, I'm glad it's better for you. I did nothing. I've changed nothing. So if that solved the problem, then all the better. I love a problem that can be solved by changing absolutely nothing. All right, gotta get out my nail glue to glue on this. Just try not to glue myself down. I've gotten a lot better with this nail glue. Except that I just messed it up. Whoops. Okay. If I can get this just right, though, it'll be perfect to keep some tardigrades in a contained area. Hopefully, without having to use a cover slip, which means that they will be lost. 
because a tardigrade under a cover slip is basically unrecoverable, unfortunately. Uh, there's a significant stream delay, and in the beginning it was frozen for a couple minutes, but it has been running smoothly since then. All right, I... Why? Why? Why, Twitch? Why? There's probably a full one to two minute delay between stream and chat, but at least you aren't... I'm not frozen anymore. Oh, no. That's, uh, yeah. Frustrating, to say the least. And I don't know if there's anything I can do about it, to be honest, so... Which is not to just, you know, ignore the complaints. It's just like, I literally don't know what to do. There is no manager I can go speak to. We don't have any more internet stocked in the back. So I'm not gonna go check. All right, that looks pretty good, I think. We'll see if that leaks. Ugh, this stuff really is strong though, scent-wise. Okay. I'm gonna pull off this sample. Let's go for a large, large view of this lake sample. That's really what I'm interested in. Oh, it's gotten fuzzy. That's or like uh, cloudy. That's interesting. So if we see anything interesting here, I'll try to grab some a little bit of everything, some dirt from the bottom, some of the floating bits. Try to disperse it a little bit. It'll be hard to focus in on anything in particular, but if we do see anything, we can throw it under a cover slip and check it out more clearly. I'm kind of hoping for more uh, Stentor, which we saw a couple weeks ago. The delay might just be a Twitch thing, though. Slow down at the local node or something. Yeah, I i mean, I talked to someone after, after Wednesday's kerfuffle, and they said that that's probably what it was and you know me not knowing anything else or any better i just am inclined, inclined to believe them okay so this might take a bit to just settle literally settle down Ooh, there's a lot of stuff in here already like what is that that looks like a cast off uh shell of some kind not shell uh, exoskeleton. We'll just start a little fairly zoomed in to start off with. If nothing else, even the dirt is prettier in this one. Yeah, the delay will be a little bit annoying if there's like something you want me to like look at, but I'll try to pause on things for extra long just in case. Oh. Alright, we got some little little fellas zooming around. Probably the big ones are probably copepods again. Maybe some Daphnia. I'd love to see some Daphnia. Oop. <laughs> like that. That thing that just flew by for me. It does look so good. It's it's like my dreams are coming true because this is what I see when I look through the eyepiece. But it was it's never looked good on uh, not that good. It's never looked this good on stream. Yeah, it's looked it's looked fine. There what is what is I'm going to investigate whatever that big thing is. I just want to look around for some smaller things. Also, I want I want a stentor. Whoa. Oh. I, I 
just by catching a glimpse, I'm trying to decide what that thing is. I want to say it's going to end up being like just a, a Daphnia or something. I'm a little worried as we go into like winter that the samples that I'm taking are getting a little bit more boring as things kind of go into die or go into hibernation. So I might have to start culturing things more carefully here on my desk. We'll see if I can actually do that though. really love something good to look at. I mean, very pretty, very pretty dirt, but you know, something alive, please. I'm sure if I was a geologist, I could make interesting content out of just this stuff right here. Ooh, there's something that's alive. Hello. Oh, look at it. You can see it's a... Uh... Oh, come on. No, 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 no. You can see that it has like some uh, cilia or just projections of some kind. And they are moving around. It's probably trying to feed on something. It, it's like a one of the rotifers that we've seen, just not attached to anything. It's also very quick. Very cool. Um, the music was very loud. Uh, maybe I should, well, I guess I could just start trying to collect things and put them on, on this other slide. You know, meant for tardigrades, but we can do tardigrades and friends. This one's very small, though. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. And there, up in the corner, is a copepod, I think. Oh, maybe, oh, maybe not. That might be a water flea. Or juvenile copepod. No, no, no. There's a there's a third thing that we've seen before, and I'm forgetting the name. Okay, well that's hanging out. This little guy over here is trapped. I'm gonna try and grab him and put him on my other my other slide. Mm, no way. I'm not gonna get him. Okay. All right. Actually, wait, can I? Okay, that is the direction that I expect. At some point, I'm going to try and see if um, I can flip this video finally so it's more accurate to what I'm doing. That might make pipetting stuff in and out a little bit easier. So this is going to be like the, f whoa, look at you. Nice going. Uh, by way of advertisement, I'm going to say several times today, just a reminder that regardless of whatever I end up doing this, this whole week and, you know, with extra streams for the regular sci-fi wednesday stream gonna have on um someone who uh, doesn't necessarily directly work in chromosome biology but she is extremely interested in chromosome biology and sci-fi and we are going to talk whoa daphne and we're going to talk about uh interspecies breeding and hybrid uh 
like the problems of being a hybrid with an alien or the problems of being an alien that is just a hybrid of two other aliens. Okay, so this is a Daphnia. They are a type of crustacean. They kind of have a uh, clamshell type carapace. This one, it's actually very nicely on its uh, front right now. And you can see that it has like two little, like a clamshell, like folded down with its legs on the inside there. So the, what's moving are its, are its little legs. I don't really know much more of its anatomy. Uh, the darker spots in the front of it are its eyes. And she left. Still. And I hope she's not eating my stentors. This is from the same lake that I found those stentors. We found that amoeba from. Very different climate, though, and a different part of the lake. So, curious if anything actually is uh, living here. Clearly, there's some. I don't know what Daphnia eat, but clearly there's enough for some Daphnia. So that's pretty nice. A lot of dirt. A lot of dirt. What is this? I've been seeing these sort of empty shapes, these empty somethings. Hello, Benjamin. Uh, there are quite a few hybrid species in Star Wars, in addition to the obvious Star Trek variety. Yeah, um, I think we're sticking with Star Trek primarily as a you know as a basis, but we will definitely probably talk about other you know hybrids and other uh, properties. We want to stick with Star Trek because they're the ones who get the most sciency about it at times. And there's just like so many uh, examples. And lots of weird, just a lot of weird stuff. You know, the more weird stuff that happens, the easier it is to talk about. That's just a field of sand. But you're absolutely right. Oh, hello. This is a tardigrade, I think. Covered up in some uh, sand. Ooh, yeah. That is. She's a little stuck, though. Very, very cute. Ah, uh, I wonder if I can get her. Oh, there's Daphne right next door. Okay, I'm gonna try and pipette this one. Where is my pipette? Well, I got some liquid. We'll see if the tardigrade is in there. We'll check. We'll check later. I want to grab a couple, a couple more, for my colony. Um, I'm pretty sure I grabbed her and didn't just disperse it. Okay, so there's tardigrades. We saw some paramecium. Paramecium. Saw some uh, uh, Daphnia. I was really hoping to see like some rotifers or stentor again. Might just have to try again. There's a lot of liquid to to go through. 
Probably want to siphon through some more anyways to get some more tardigrades if they're there. So yeah, I kind of want to pick less dirt, but at the same time, I think they, uh, the sort of more fun things like to hang out on the dirt. You know, they like to hang out on a substrate. Makes it a little tough. Hello, is this something? Unsure about that. Actually, maybe before, oh, that was just a piece of, piece of plant. Maybe before I, uh, not abandon, but I, you know, move on to the next bit of the same sample. I might just zoom out all the way and see how many Daphne we can actually find. Seems like there were a few. Uh, Daphnia, so Daphnia are also called water fleas. Yeah, they're a freshwater crustacean. Hello. Oh. A big guy. These are so fast though, I can never, never get a great image of them. All right, I've seen I've seen too much sand. I'm going to uh, zoom out, look for the Daphnia, then we'll take a look at a we'll grab some more of the same sample. Actually, there's a whole section that we can't quite see because it's stuck. Including that, which is just a bit of just a bit of plant. Just rotating some stuff. Guess I will dump this back and grab some more. to grab more organic matter rather than sand this time just by stirring everything up and, and grabbing the stuff that stays floating after a couple seconds 
perhaps to my detriment, but we'll find out. Just give everything a couple seconds to settle. Um, although my DNA sequencing was great quality and I like what I got, I did do some investigations and found that like it's approximately one sixth the amount of data that they had promised. So I sent them a uh, very specific complaint. We'll see if they respond to me. I, I, I mean, I don't want my money back. I would take my money back, but I'd rather them just sequence more of my DNA. I know they have it. I want more data and they can't deny it to me. And the reason I want that is because it will increase the confidence of any slight differences that I see. That's something that's swimming. Oh, it's another one of those, uh, round things although this looks a little bit different oh yeah look at him go look at him siphon I, it's just I, I i find it so amazing how those little propellers are are pulling that much water but i wonder if the viscosity sort of uh dynamics are different when you're that small I feel like I wish I had like image analysis software that could track all those dots. I just want to see like sort of the cone of what it's pulling. I mean, I can't I can't point to it, but up in the the top right hand or left hand corner even things are moving towards it. Okay, if I can avoid messing up the the everything, I'm going to move to a higher magnification. No, don't move. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oh, he, he, was, he was sitting so nicely for us. Oh, there he goes. Okay. Wow. Screenshot taken for Discord, obviously. Looks like a little buzzsaw. He does. Why did I just get a note? Oh, <laughs> got a notification on my own screenshot. That's good. Yeah, I wonder. Oh, sorry, that was my fault. I wonder what exactly it is. Um, I just don't know. But I love that you can see the rows of like the cilia on it. Oh, it's just so powerful. Look at it. This also reminds me of how excited I am for Chainsaw Man, the anime coming out very soon, hopefully. I don't know if any of our more proficient Googlers are on here. Oh, I don't want to see. I can't. I take my hands off to Google what it is, and he starts moving. Oh, he's just so good at his job. Whoa, I got hit by something. Now, if I could get him under a slide, we'd be able to zoom in so much farther. Let me just try a little bit more. This is all like digital zoom, basically. Oh, gonna lose him if I don't zoom out a little bit. Well, he's having a good time. He likes whatever is in this, this water. 
I always forget what rotifer. Well, so I'm just gonna call it a rotifer until told otherwise, because rotifers do that. But I'm sure that's completely incorrect. I, I wonder just what what exactly are they eating? Is it is it prokaryotes like bacteria? Or are they just sifting for anything that they can kind of get? I always forget. Okay, I think I'm gonna let him. Uh, I'm gonna let him hang out, and we'll go. We'll go look around a little bit more. Oops. All right. But he was fun. I would love to see another amoeba. I've only seen that one, that one time. So it seems pretty unlikely. There's like a lot of cellulose, like leftover bits from plants. What is this? Is this like a bit of a dead something? Like a dead Daphnia? Not sure. Ooh, this microscope is hot. I think as as it gets colder and colder here, I won't have to heat this room because my between my computer and this this microscope, it's gonna heat it up to a very comfortable 80 degrees probably. What is this? I am reusing an old dish. Is this a uh, scratch? Is it something alive? Is it something dead? Is it something stuck? It's not moving. Although these look like cells, they just also aren't moving. Oops, come on. Definitely not as many tardigrades as I was hoping for, unfortunately. One tardigrade doesn't really make a whole colony. Although some, I think, do go undergo uh, asexual reproduction. So maybe I grab one of those and I'll get lucky. And I do have the dried tardigrades still that I could always grab. Although it's from a completely different sample, I would worry that they just aren't the same species because one is from a completely aquatic freshwater lake. The other one was a dried piece of uh, lichen. And with no other information, I feel like I can at least separate them by species based on habitat. Or at least if something is going to separate them, that might be a good indicator. I think this dish just has a lot of splotches that look like large cells for some reason.
I also noticed I haven't found a single nematode yet. Hmm. Maybe the microscope gods are scheming to keeping me from seeing what I want to see. There's a little guy. I mean, there's no denying there's life in here. But this lake just isn't as lively as it used to be. Or I just haven't taken enough sample yet. I think we can skip to the uh, next up. Skip to that this dirty stream sample that I have. So it was slow moving, but still moving. Very cloudy water. I don't think it's a permanent stream, but it seems like it. Uh, it's there often enough that it made like a. Embankment is the wrong word. Uh, a divot. It, it had its own path. Okay, I did see a nice green uh, diatom up there. First, we're going to look at this one, which is not really showing much good detail. We'll go look at that diatom. There you are. Yeah, so I don't know, for all I know, I just got a sample full of empty but dirty water. So we'll find out. All right, our little buzzsaw friend was a lot of fun, but I haven't really seen much besides him. So I'm getting the itch to move on. Yeah. Yeah, let's move on. No, uh, no Daphne in that one either. They must have all just been in the previous one. That was just a recollection of the same, the same sample, really, same water. All right, let's check this out. It is extremely cloudy. I don't know if that's a, just don't know if that's a good or bad thing. I'll take a little bit of the uh, substrate, just in case anything's kind of hanging on there. But we'll see what's, we'll see what's lurking here, if anything. Whoa. I guess that's what the dirt was. It, or the, the the cloudiness was. It was dirt. Lots of little bits of things though. It's kind of interesting. Alright. Just right away a diatom sitting there? You nothing. So it almost looks like a lot of these sort of like clear things are just old bits of plant. I, I don't know where this stream comes from or goes, but it was in like a little forested area, so I'm sure there's just tons of plant matter.
Ooh, you know what? Actually, I want to definitely look at. I have some. I have some algae. Uh, I really want to just with this slightly improved camera setup. I really want to look at the algae. I feel like they will be a little bit better. Fidelity. The shapes of the things that aren't moving are almost as interesting as the critters that are moving. I mean, yeah, I agree to an extent. I do like things that move, though. I mean, but you're absolutely right. Like, if we, uh, if I just go to, like, yeah, this. This bit of plant right here. I mean, so, like, the bits of the cell are long gone except for the the outer cell walls which are made out of cellulose i think almost exclusively um they do leave behind kind of like ghostly shells also forgive my leg or my knee showing up in frame i'm trying to get trying to sit in a comfortable position position i'm not finding it today Yeah, here's another bit of something. Who knows, leaf, stem, something from a, uh, like a moss. In fact, this might be kind of, not easy, but this, there, since there is so much uh, plant matter in here, and you're right, it, it is a, interesting in its own way, I should grab some of this to put it under a cover slip, because then we can get really close and uh, go to the highest magnification. Really check out what's going on here. zoomed in there ah perfect didn't even necessarily mean to grab that exact piece of uh, plant matter but here we are We'll look really closely at this. If I can ever get it into focus. Come on. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Even a bit of green left over. Uh, maybe this wasn't exactly the same piece, but that's okay. In fact, what is this? Oh, well. There is some movement. Just had to go very, very close to actually see it. That is interesting. I'm barely touching the, 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 the knobs. Yeah, so even on this, what I thought was seemingly, you know, dead and boring piece of cellulose, 
zoom in enough, and sure enough, we find a little community of something. Some things. Little bacterium. Just gonna guess because of the size, it, it's bacteria. Bacteria are the little things that do not show up very well in my microscope. Well, that's cool. Well, thank you for leading me here, Mana Guard, getting me to look at something more closely. Oops. Just trying to scoot it elsewhere. I mean, now that we're this close, there's there's life everywhere. Dancing around. I wonder if they're uh, like decomposing whatever this was or, or just taking advantage of whatever this, this was. Every zoom level is a whole new universe. Yes. Basically, yeah. All right, I'm gonna stick it about here and just kind of move off to the side. See what else we can see. I mean, now we're gonna just be seeing those little bacteria everywhere. But I don't know if there's anything else that kind of came along for the ride. This is so sensitive at this level too. If I move my uh, the stage, even just like barely twist the knob, it, it flies by. Here's another one. So you can see the larger structure of the outside of the cells. I don't think these are really functional cells anymore, but on the inside we still see some, oh, can't really, can't really focus in on that too easily. Zoom out. So actually, so I do. I do want to check out some algae though. I might. Try to get some on a slide really quick. So that's what I want to do now. Just some algae. Nothing too special, but I want to see, I want to see if the green is any better than it used to be. Um, maybe we'll be able to see things a little bit more clearly. Although I, you never know. Okay. Okay, this better have some algae on it. The algae that I have is a little bit, it likes to float. Actually, I want to start at a lower zoom level, just because I don't know where I am. There we go. Okay. So that is a bit of algae. It's nice and dispersed. 
just going to take a quick look around, see if anything else came along for the ride. But I think this is mostly just going to be algae. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Now we'll actually zoom in. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Ooh. Yes. Let's stay on one of these edges because that's where they're dispersed enough to actually see the difference between them. Although, looks like they kind of grow in groups. They have little star patterns. Let's, let's check out one of those. A little too much. Yeah, so of the sort of easier things that I can keep alive is just this bunch of algae. It grows like crazy. I'm trying to figure out if I can feed it to something else, but they just take over whatever I, I add them to. Come on. Up. Not that far up. Gotta find the right amount of zoom on each each one. They're very pretty the way they look like little florets. Yeah, like little flower clusters, exactly. Take a microscope shot of that. Very, very pretty. Yeah, I looked what up what these were at one point. I just don't remember the name. I feel like it starts with a V. Oops, oops, oops. My bad. Um, so these are great, but this is one of two types of algae I actually wanted to look at. Got to make sure I'm, I know I have the other one somewhere. Yes, I believe this is it. I will prepare a second slide with that. So I don't have to just destroy this one. That would just be a little rude. single strand of algae so this is going to be spiragyra something we've seen plenty of times before oh, it's a little out of focus there we go spiragyra which we've seen plenty of times before but new setup i want to see if it's uh if we can see it any nicer it's all dead and that was just a skeleton that I saw ooh yeah that does not look very good I don't think this was healthy algae unfortunately 
Uh, I'll zoom in a bit. I thought this stuff was growing, but uh, it doesn't look too... It doesn't look right. Then again, it could just be a different species than I thought. We'll zoom in. We'll zoom in. So this was supposed to be Spirogyra, which has, um, they grow in columns. They have rectangular shaped cells. On the inside, they they have green. Oh. Yeah, no, these are dead, but very interesting. What is going on? So they they should have spiraling, not like this, um, actually almost perpendicular spirals um, going up and down their cells. Why is that moving like that? It's very strange. Yeah, so it should be on the interior, but there's not really much to tell, much to say. It looks like these, these threads are on the outside. I wonder, I don't know if it's like fungal hyphae or something like that. I don't think so. Then again, I don't know what it is. It's very strange. Yeah, exactly. It almost looks like blood vessels. That's why I thought maybe it's like hyphae, which help transport uh, along the hyphae um, themselves. Yeah, so this is a junction between two cells. And it looks like these threads, they do meet up. And you can, yeah, they're moving between them, which shouldn't happen like that's not how spirit gyro works as far as i'm as far as i'm pretty sure they don't work that way yeah i wonder what this is my uneducated guess is yeah it's some kind of fungus that has taken over uh effectively is like uh breaking down the cells wow that's very strange Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, these are hyphae. Look at this, you can see kind of how they bleb out, meaning they kind of like branch out a little bit and end in little nubs. I think that's the hyphae reaching out, trying to find others slash other sources of food. Wow, that's actually uh, kind of more cool than the uh, algae itself. That's not true. The algae is pretty cool. Rest in peace, this algae. But still, something new has shown up. Ah, uh, that's cool. It's, I wonder if it's on the inside. Zombie Spyro trying to reanimate. Uh, it, it, it's like... um. What's that video game where it's like a fungus is the reason why people are zombies? It It's kind of like that. Also, this is moving. What is this and why is it moving? I gotta zoom out, what's... So these are some threads that look like they've just popped out. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I wonder if these are sexual structures. I really can't tell. Ooh, it's so strange how it's moving, like a tentacle. Oh, that's very odd. I can't get it quite in focus. 
The Last of Us. The Last of Us. That's, yes, that's what I'm thinking of. This is The Last of Us, but for plant. The last, last plant of us. Very strange. Okay, I'm gonna zoom over because there was this other one over here which looked different but no less dead. I feel like I'm seeing the same sort of a uh, situation. Let's zoom in a little bit. Yeah, with these tubes going through it. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> this algae is very dead. What's this? More of what we already saw. I mean, unexpected, but still very cool. Uh, I wish I knew more about plants and fungi. Oh, oh, hello. Bigger things. Working their way up and down the stalk. <clears throat> Wonder if they're uh, predating the fungus or if they're just trying to get in on the decomposition. Ooh, actually right here, it's like a little bit more cleared out zoom in just get a really good look at these structures and whatever those are very pretty sad but pretty I mean I swear I have some of this I mean now I'm just paranoid that all of my uh, little bits of algae are are just gonna be uh, fungal mats I mean I actually had one that is thready and fungus looking and I was gonna pull that out um, it looks different than this so maybe I will but I guess I can't promise anything since it might just be more fungus, but it could be cool. This is what happens when lake samples don't work out the way I thought they were going to. All right, so this one's gonna be a little tough. Why, something's moving. Uh, hello? What is this? And where is it going? Oh. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> okay, so this is definitely an algae. Um... Uh, I've seen this before, but I forget exactly what it's called, and I don't know why it moves. I've seen it just slowly move before. Where's it coming from? It's just moving out of this group of algae over here to go somewhere else. You have to go so you can eat before your listening party? Yeah, definitely. You should do that. We should have another Dead Plants Day soon because this is really cool. Well, we're going to have, uh, come now that fall is coming, we're going to have a lot of dead decaying matter to uh, potentially take a look at. Why is everything moving? But thank you for coming. 
I'll see you later. Hopefully you can make it at least Wednesday. I think that's going to be a really fun stream with the guest. Oh, it's so strange. This is kind of like uh, what we had been talking about. You know, kind of like Halloween theme. I feel like we're seeing some, maybe not zombie fungus, but something that's uh, fairly horrific. By the way, I hope these aren't... These aren't worms. These aren't like hookworms or something, are they? I don't think so. I think I'd see more more structure if they were. Very weird. Okay. Uh, I did lose that little bit of uh, algae. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's going backwards. <laughs> Didn't like that, that direction. He's going the other direction. Oh, oh, hello. Is this an amoeba? John Pantone, thank you for the follow. Just in time for this, what I believe is an amoeba. Oh no, I can't quite, oh, he's doing something. Maybe not, maybe he's not an amoeba. He has two, what I'm going to call little, oh shoot. Like two little threads popping out of him. Does anyone else see that? So I. Oh, oh, yeah. I really hope you can other people can see the little like whip tail that's coming out of it or like feelers or I, I don't have the words to describe what what that is I can't tell if it's a paramecium that's kind of just stuck which I think it might be uh, and then it's like it's like they, they have a really thin little tail or if it's something else. I don't think it's an amoeba anymore. It keeps defaulting back to this cylindrical shape with its little feeler in front. Okay, I gotta zoom out a little bit. He's trying to leave. I gotta tighten the screws or something on my stage because it doesn't move the way I expect it to. It's almost like a snake, the way they uh, they put up their little tongues to, to taste the air. Uh, if he would just leave that area. So we could get a little bit better of a look. Oh, he's following the threads. Yeah, no, not, not Amoeba. Meanwhile, we still see these like little feelers moving around. Where'd you go? Oh, there's another one. That's so strange. Uh, what's what's the paramecium species? It's like you, you, Eugenia, Euglenia, something like that. I think this is just like some something. They're shaped like paramecium, but I don't rec remember there being like a feeler thingy in front of them. Hey, Twitch guy too. We're checking out little little critters with weird feelers. I hope you're doing well. Also welcome. Happy Sunday and all that. Ooh. I 
No, they're ma no, they're not making it easy on me. Okay, that one kind of hid away. The other one's probably still up there. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit though. Yeah, he's still he's still in the the fibers right there. Okay, cool. There's another one right there. I'm really su I always get so surprised. I'm Euclina, thank you. Uh I don't know if this is them, but that's what I am reminded of. Actually they're undulating their bodies like quite a bit. That's so strange. Come on, come on, come on. It feels like I'm trying to like navigate this with like poles attached to my fingers. It's just like I do not have the f refinement necessary to move this carefully enough. Okay. Micro, welcome. Hello. Hey, you have micro in your name. Do you want to help me uh, identify something really quick? Where'd they go? The thing I was just on. Um, there's one, there's one, there's one. Okay. To my not a microbiologist eyes, they are kind of shaped like a paramecium they have little feelers on the ends that they're uh putting out into the world okay there's one right there but he's hiding just trying to figure out what exactly it is look at you know they're kind of oh there it is there's one you oh is he out in the open oh picture 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 got him okay got a screenshot of him <laughs> Ooh. The uh the little feeler thing reminds me of in the movie uh The Thing. Uh when the thing comes out of a person and whips around little tentacles. That is that is my first and immediate thought. Probably because it's almost the best month, October. Science, welcome! Also, congrats on the baby. Been lurking around in your streams this past week. Super exciting. How's the colony setup going? Awful. Absolutely awful. Um, I found one tardigrade. <laughs> one tardigrade a colony does not make, unfortunately. Um, also, it doesn't help that I've been getting distracted. Specifically by this little guy right here. Yeah, um, I had a really good tardigrade colony going, you know, like a couple months ago. It crashed and burned, and I was going to make a new one starting today. Uh, you know, I don't know if it's the weather or just bad luck, but the samples I took uh, just aren't uh, very full of tardigrades. I mean, I found one, and who knows? Maybe it's a... Um, I don't even know what they are. I don't know if they undergo parthenogenesis or if they're hermaphroditic, but, you know... All right, this little guy, he's going back into his little, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. This little hovel. But yeah, welcome, welcome. Uh, this was going to be just a, a look at some algae. And what it turned into was looking at everything but living algae. Turns out the algae died and has just become a really interesting place for other organisms who are sort of taking over the place. Uh, I don't know what this is. It's very cool. Yeah, so I have some sp uh, Spirogyra. This is what I thought was Spirogyra. Come and check on it. 
and it's definitely dead, but a lot of things have sort of taken over. How, why slash how the crash? Good question. So uh, I was keeping them going. Um, I fed them by taking new lichen, drying it out really, and then uh, crushing it up very finely into like a powder, and then sort of dusting it in every once in a while because I had observed that the tardigrades really seem to enjoy being near the fresh uh, lichen because um, I couldn't tell what exactly which species it was. So I was kind of taking a guess on what they were eating um, and they were multiplying. I was actually getting lots and lots of um, tardigrades with uh, clutches of eggs and even small tardigrades that haven't hatched from those eggs. So everything was going great um, until my culture got infected by two things. One was a type of algae that the tardigrades did not appear to like to eat, but the algae grew like crazy. And two was copepods. A copepod or two got in there. And I think something about just like this mix of algae that they didn't eat and these copepods that were probably out competing the tardigrades for food resources just caused their, their population to crash. It went from all tardigrades all the time to copepods and uh, this one type of algae. So unfortunate, but it just kind of happened. Uh, I would like to restart a colony though and just be a little bit more careful about it. But speaking of algae, look at these guys. They're very pretty. Again, living off the dregs of a uh, long gone Spiragyra. But these are very pretty. Oh, here's an. Here, oh, wow. I guess I'm going to have to keep this culture around. I mean, these are. Uh, I love these little guys. Ah, and look at this right here. So that thing with the spikes coming off it, I wonder. So a couple months ago, we were told about this particular type of microorganism that shoots toxins through these little spikes. They're, they're little predators. I don't think that's it, but it looks awfully close to it. And that little guy is not having a lot of fun touching it. Um, what all can I feed them? Uh, will they ingest meat uh, like the tardigrades? Uh, I didn't do a lot of tests, unfortunately, about what I could feed them. Um, uh, again, couldn't tell what species they were. And from the best of my knowledge, the tardigrades were probably just feeding off of a certain type of algae that was growing uh, in slash with the lichen that they lived on. So I was just taking kind of a guess. Um, I never saw them predate anything. There were plenty of, uh, you know, other microorganisms sitting around, but I never saw them actively go after any of them or consume them. It'd be cool if I found a predatory tardigrade though. I've got some of those going. Ah, right here, by the way. These little guys, these are my, my uh, tardigrade killers. These uh, teardrop shaped uh, algae, which I've, forget what they're called I looked it up once have not retained that knowledge but they're the ones who uh, took over my my previous tardigrade colony <laughs> wow these guys are coming out to play okay are these Euglena I gotta look it up now I mean, they're so, they're so abundant. Okay, okay. Not that Euglena has to be abundant. It's just, come on. I have to learn what these are. Is that even how you pronounce it? Euglena. Yeah, maybe. I mean, they look like it. Hmm. Not sure on that. Not sure on 
if whether or not we're looking at is Euglena. I don't, maybe not, because I think Euglena are supposed to be green. They're a type of, I think they're actually a type of algae. These are slightly green. All right, so this, oh, wow. This current view was to look at some algae, which are all dead and sort of invaded by these hyphae of what I think is just some kind of fungus that is living inside of the, uh, the more or less empty cellulose of the dead algae. I think those might be, f oh, hello. Ah, what are we looking at here? A couple things. Oh, 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 I think we just saw something get caught. It's being consumed. I don't, I hope, I hope people saw that. This, whatever this is, the larger green thing was floating around until it hit. The side of this i think this is one of those predators that i was had just mentioned you can kind of see the filaments coming off of the sides of them uh they spear other microorganisms and absorb them i think we just saw one get absorbed oh they look like it but it would have to be a species without chloroplasts yeah that's why that's why i'm just not sure it's like they're euglena shaped they're giving off Euglena vibes, but I'm not sure exactly what they are. Uh, this little spiky predator guy, on the other hand, oh, there they go. Uh, was it no Nostox? Why is that coming to mind? Spiked microorganism predator. Someone on stream told me about it, like what these were called, but I do not remember. Ah, turns out you can't just Google search a very poor description and expect to get a good answer. All right. Let's see, what else do we have? So we have this thing too oblong with little uh, flagella or spikes, hard to tell coming off of it. Does not seem to play well with other people or other <laughs> other microorganisms. Oh, wow. Now, what is that? Is that another one just way bigger? Or is it multiple? What are we watching? I'm just gonna sit here and view this while I try to figure out what's going on. Wow. Oh, there's another one. Unfortunately, the screen uh, is Big, I'm looking at a bigger screen than what we can see right now. Um, I unfortunately can't change it easily. I can do that. So I think these are, I'm gonna just keep calling these Euglena until proven otherwise. Okay, so these are just two Euglena. I don't know what they're, what they're up to. Oh, this ended up being a very lively sample. Wasn't expecting it. Yeah, so here is an empty casing filled with what I think are hyphae with the circles being um, fruiting bodies. Uh, before, it doesn't look like it, but before on another part of this dead algae, we actually could see um, nutrients or, or just like uh, subcellular components moving in the hyphae, like going between each other. Yeah, see they extend between the different, what were completely different cells. All right. Pretty 
beautiful, pretty cool. Kind of followed that to the literal end of the algae. Okay, so a lot of a lot of things going on in here. They are what a, what is going on down here though? They really like whatever this is down here at the bottom. Or they're stuck in something. Uh, I'm gonna prepare the next sample. Uh, something I was gonna do about 10 minutes ago until I got distracted by uh, these guys. Which I think is honestly just gonna be a little bit more fungus, but something has been growing as like a, uh, a mat, like a film. Ooh, it's actually very disgusting. And I really want to sort of dissect this out. It is actually a literal film. I need to uh, I need to get both of my forceps here to kind of separate it out and put it into a flat piece. Uh, since some new people have joined, I will advertise once again. I'm very excited, you know, as long as schedules continue to work out for, you know, Sci-Fi on Wednesday, or Sci-Fi Wednesday this week. Uh, I'm going to be talking to someone who knows a lot more about chromosome biology, or at least more interested in it than I am. And we're going to be sitting down, tackling the problem of alien-alien hybrids, alien-human hybrids, primarily Star Trek-based. But as was pointed out to me, those exist in other properties too. Basically the question of like, okay, can Spock exist? Probably not. Is Spock sterile? Probably. What did Dr. Phlox do in Enterprise to uh, pave the way for alien hybridization? Not just with humans. We're not, we're not human absolutists here okay goodbye Euglena I hope you had fun yeah there are many things going on there I will not immediately get rid of this sample in case we want to come back to it and check it out um, I am a little worried it's gonna dry out though they were sacrificially put under a cover slip Oh, Miss Frizzle. The possibly controversial cover slip. Where everything fun I find goes to die. Or at least do much less well. Okay, there we go. Ooh. Okay. Um, interesting. <laughs> so this Spirogyra actually might sort of still be uh, with us. Maybe. That's not quite what it should look like. Also, these uh, these strands around it are don't look good. Yeah, so Spirogyra have these, uh, yeah, sacrificially. <laughs> uh, I actually forget if they technically are the chloroplasts, but they keep their chloroplasts in a, in a structure that spirals around the inside surface of their cells. And that's sort of the green that we're seeing, although they're a little disordered, so I don't think they're doing... Uh, too too well i'm just trying to find a good one to zoom in on um, they also have these really cool structures or these subcellular components that help concentrate carbonic acid um, near the chloroplasts or just near the cells uh, car so carbon dioxide is the building block of 
every single sugar. So it's really important for plants to get plenty of carbon dioxide because they're essentially made of uh, polymers of simple sugars, like starches and cellulose. Uh, but if you're in the air, like a land plant, CO2 everywhere, it's pretty easy to get. Uh, in the water though, it, it's kind of a problem. You can't necessarily always get CO2 when you want it. So Spirogyra, and I'm sure other plants, aquatic plants, have adapted so that they can concentrate the amount around themselves using these special uh, structures, which I, the names of which I'm forgetting right now. You thought they were thylakoids, but they actually are chloroplasts. Yeah, I just couldn't remember if like the entire ring going around it was like chloroplasts or if it was something that had chloroplasts. There's, you know, some bit of plant biology that I, I learned last time we looked at these, but have basically forgotten. All right, so I want to look at these because I actually assumed these were more. Uh, dead is not the right word, but uh, not doing as well but they seem to be doing better. Uh, meanwhile, a little friend stuck right here. Let's get you in a little bit better focus, please. Kinda struggling. I can't tell if it is, whatever it's doing, if it's trying to move around um, those little dots, those little potentially bacteria. There's also some smaller or some other microorganisms that I can sort of make out. Don't know if it's trying to do that or if it's just stuck and it's moving things by, by accident. All right. I'm zooming way far away. Here we go. So what I had noticed in this sample are these this like strand all these strands of something which is what i wanted to come investigate um i was not expecting the algae to actually be doing okay some of it's very clearly dead though oh yeah okay just trying to find some that are kind of dispersed a little bit more it was all very sticky, so I had to sort of grab and rip a little bit. Okay, let's, are we actually gonna be able to tell what this mess is? Not really. <laughs> this fibrous mesh has just grown on the outside of this algae. It's very pretty actually. Uh, I had assumed it was going to be another type of fungus, which it very well could be. I just can't really, I have no definition on what, on, on it. There's some better looking Spirogyra. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit more. Although it still looks a little, uh, not great. It's green. It's very spirally. But that definitely looks a lot different than it than I had seen it before. We need an algae expert to tell me if this is sick, dead, or dying. Or absolutely fine. And it just looks different because my camera setup got a little bit better. Oh, the song? What song is this? Uh, this is, you know, I just use a Twitch soundtrack. Yeah, Higher Ground Flight Facilities Remix. Uh, Odessa Naomi Wild. It's under the chilled electronic genre. Oh, we've got movement. Yeah, I've been really into this... Uh, this playlist lately for stream. Look at how the threads kind of uh, separate and end. Also this, oh wait, look. Oh, you can see 
movement. Not, not just the thing actually moving, but within some of the threads, they're all pulling liquid or something like towards the same direction. That's interesting. Are they connected to something on this other end? So where is this going? Oh yeah, we can follow it. You love Odessa and Big Wild. I mean, I, I honestly can't say I chose it on purpose. So I take no credit in, in getting it to play. So maybe this is a fungus. Ah, more of my uh, tardigrade killer algae. Swishy boy. Oh, hello. Oh, oh no. Wait, what? Is this, is this a nematode? I think something's wrong with it if it is. So this is the lake sample or dead plant from the patio sample. Actually, neither. Uh, dead plant patio sample I have not checked up on. It's um, just basically a tannic soup of brown liquid that I haven't noticed anything like particularly remarkable growing in. Um, the new lake sample was honestly a little disappointing. Okay, that's not, okay, good. That's not a, it kind of looked like the end of a uh, nematode, but I don't think it's a nematode. If it is, it's dead, because I think the center of it is uh, split open. Uh, so what this is, is honestly just some algae that I keep growing on my desk. Um, I had noticed in this one that this film had shown up. And this film, I think, is a result of these fibers. These fibers are the things that I saw liquid or something being transported through after I zoomed in. If I zoom in again, I wonder if we can see it again. Not quite. Um, and I was just curious what the fibers were. I'm actually just surprised that the Spirogyra, like this one, seem to be doing okay. Yeah, so this is just kind of a mess, but you know. Uh, and this I think I can save. I think I can just kind of put it all back in where I found it. Oh wow, it's, all, it's already 3.45? Yikes. I started a little early, so I'm getting a little tired, to be honest. Um, what are these? So I might, I might, 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 because I, I came to say, I sat down with the intent on getting tardigrades, which has happened. I got one tardigrade, which now I'm realizing that I haven't been paying attention to it. It may have dried out. Ooh, slime mold. Yeah, that's a, that's a good hypothesis. Yeah, because on this one, I haven't seen any fruiting bodies. I don't know if slime molds have fruiting bodies, but when I see fruiting bodies, I think, uh, you know, uh, I guess, what am I, what am I saying? I don't know what I'm saying. I just have a presumptions of what um, slime molds are. You have a bottle of pond water with a bunch of fibers growing in it too, by the window at work. Yeah, I wonder... It, it, see, that's why I wanted to check it out. Like, was it a bunch of fibers um, from algae, a bunch of fibers from a mold or something? I don't know. I still don't know what it is. What happened to those tiny mazes I was working on? Good question. Um, just kind of took a break from it. Happy to go back at any point. Um, one thing is, though, I just need to really sit down, design some, and get them 3D printed with a different type of 3D printer than I have. Uh, the one I, that I do have, you know, it prints good enough, but not like really, really good. And I need a slightly different type. I need the, uh, 
uh, like the type that cures UV, but or sorry, cures resin, liquid resin, UV using UV light, because uh, you can get really, really, really small structures with that. Uh, otherwise, it basically worked. I mean, I made little mazes and we got some copepods to go through it. That was kind of fun. I think copepods are the way to go, even though I kind of hate them because they kill off my tardigrades. Uh, they were the best maze subjects because they're fast. I will definitely put this back. Put you back. Let's, um, what should we check out? Okay, I wanna look for more. Well, okay. All Miss Rizzle, just because you asked, I will very gingerly open this disgusting, disgusting uh, dead plant water, which I think is under a vacuum seal because it's like decayed. Ooh, it popped. That's gross. And we'll, we'll just see if anything's in here. I don't think so. So it'll be very quick. Um, but then I do want to go, I want to find tardigrades more, more tardigrades. Uh, so we'll go and look again um, before I sort of sign off. Um, well, now seeing all those little dots around it, could those be fruiting bodies, or do you know what they are? Probably just dead ciliates. Yeah, I don't know. I, to be honest, I don't know. I, I noticed the same thing. The fruiting bodies on the previous algae with fungus were way more obvious, and those had um, much bigger hyphae. So I just am not positive what we were just looking at, to be honest. All right, this is the gross plant water. I mean, I see little things swimming around, which I'm not surprised about, but it's kind of boring. Unless I found, it would be funny though, if I found a tardigrade here. <clears throat> eh. This is more like my, like really microorganisms. Uh, there were some rotifers in here at one point, but they kind of died off. I think as the uh, sample itself started to decay more, I don't know if it became like a anaerobic environment that they didn't like. And just as I say that, I see a rotifer. Two maybe. Oh, that's a little one. It's very small. Or wait, no, I'm on the wrong mag magnification. I mean, it's still very small, but... Look at him go. Oh, come on. If anyone knows how to repair microscope stages, <laughs> tell me. <laughs> so we got that one. I saw another one over here. There he is. So I think pretty sure this is a rotifer um, the attachment point is sort of that dark spot I think he's attached to just a piece of dirt and then it's a uh, mouth is sort of at the the other end and something else is moving why was that moving just now why is that moving I think something about the liquid is just moving. All right. Well, okay, I guess there's more life in here than I thought. I was discriminating against this gross jar of water that's just been sitting on my desk that every day I look at and ask, why do I still have that on my desk? Ooh, hello. Focus, focus, focus. Yeah, my poor stage. It uh, if you if you if you're watching me, and you go like, oh, why doesn't he just move more cleanly left, right, up and down? It's because I can't. It's because there's like some some lag time in me turning the screw and it going the direction I want. So like up and down 
are okay. You can see like up is fine, but watch down, it shifts right and then it goes down. Left and right are, are better, but when you're doing something very, very fine, very small, that little bit of like right turn that it makes sometimes, it makes me lose things. It feels like there's just like something I need to tighten. Um, to be honest, it might be because part of the stage is just 3D printed. I think it's given a little bit extra, uh, like a little bit too much space to move. Not space, that's the right, that's the wrong way of describing it. The, the actual metal parts of the stage move before the plastic part of the stage that moves the slide. Did plant water equals soup? Not soup that I'm going to drink. Also, it's, I think it's more like a tea because um, so this was a shockingly fruitful sample. I mean, there's some 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 stuff living in here, but it was way more lively several weeks ago when I collected it. It was stagnant water that I found in the bottom of a flower pot that had like lots of um, decaying plant matter from our garden in it. There were lots of rotifers, lots of ciliates floating around, having a good time. Uh, but then it became more brown. Basically, it just the tea s steeped for too long. Uh, it definitely became an anaerobic environment of some kind. Every time I open it, it's like under a vacuum seal. So some something's going on. Uh, I, and I also don't do it any favors because I keep it closed because it smells quite bad. So I don't want that open on my desk. All right. This sample's f okay. It's okay. All right. We're going to give lake water one more try, though. Yeah, so the color of this is like the deepest, like, what is that called? Like, brisk tea. Like, it's a brownish red. It's the, it's the, you know, tannins. I don't know. Don't know how else to describe it. Okay, that is sealed. It is under containment once again. All right. Now, disappointing lake water, will you continue to disappoint? Or will you show me something today? They're actually, I think, in this... Um, I can't put it on on stream, but I think there is one, a tiny little snail, and two, I think there's actually a uh, a like early stage dragonfly larva in here. Because I've seen later stage dragonfly larva when they're quite big, there's a little tiny insect in here that looks identical to the bigger ones, just way smaller. Um, if I ever find it again, I will get a picture of it and put it on Discord. It's not a microscope size, though. All right. Whoa, <laughs> immediately though. What were you? Come back. So this is the um, lake sample the first lake sample that i got which was a huge success like the first sample i took from this lake huge success uh it was shortly after this lake apparently underwent a uh not like a red tide like a, a like an algal bloom so uh what is the word it was extremely eutrophic um, which is not a good thing for human health. I think a dog actually got sick and died uh, from being in this lake. By the time I was there, they said it was safe, but still. Um, I grabbed some water, tons of, of, of uh, stentor, lots of rotifers. It's really awesome. Some tardigrades. Uh, that sample kind of petered out. So I got a new one from the same lake, different location but the same lake, but now it's been several weeks. It's been cold for quite a bit. And the, the microbiota has just changed. Hello, I believe this is a uh, young, 
uh, copepod? Is that what they look like? Copepods have longer tails, but I think young copepods have this kind of like more pentagon shape. Uh, young copepod. How do you spell copepod? Could I, I could also be absolutely wrong. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, hard to tell, but they do go through a stage that is approximately that shape before they elongate. Ah, here we go. Actually, I think I found a picture of actually what it is. Yes, copepod. Yeah, it's a young copepod. It was. It, it flew off the screen a minute and a half ago. Where'd you go? Oh, and there was a full-grown copepod. Or Daphnia. There's also some Daphnia in here. But I am way more interested in microorganisms like tardigrades. Where are my tardigrades? Uh, if I want to start up the tardigrade culture, maybe I just will have to rely on the tried and true method of um, getting lichen. I have this ulterior motive of trying to grab, uh, oh, hello, of trying to grab tardigrades that were found in completely aquatic conditions. Um, I think there's some differences in the different species of tardigrades. I mean, there's lots of different species of tardigrades. I cannot tell the difference between them. So I had assumed that any tardigrades that I found in a watery sample, not just rehydrated from dried up lichen, I assumed that they would prefer that watery environment, potentially making the culture last longer because the only way I can really culture them is in a completely aquatic environment at least that's what i told myself a lot of rocks i mean this is a shame i should have taken some Tardigrades when I saw them last time. I, did, I mean, I did find one. And I guess she's now preserved because I let her dry out. Oops. Whoa, hello. So I saw on, uh, what's his name, Eric, Eric's channel, Science Streams, uh, that a paper had come out um, like modeling whether or not the components of life could be on one of Saturn's moons it did not seem like they had any actual direct evidence, but I just find it funny because the the like pop science media was then like, oh, components of life, building blocks of like life found on Saturn's moon. And basically it was just like, they were trying to figure out whether or not the kinetics were favorable for uh, phosphorus to exist as in phosphates, an important, uh, form of phosphorus that is available oh, tardigrade gotcha a, an important form of uh phosphorus for life oh look at her she's very opaque oh is she pregnant mm. she's got a little bit more like like spherical things inside of her in a place like all along her body i don't know those aren't clearly eggs to me 
She's also much darker than other tardigrades that I've seen. That's interesting. I wonder if, I, I just wonder if it's like her diet or if like her species is just that way. Let's zoom in. Ah, she's beautiful. Look at her go. Look at her little claw. Oh, she has very long claws. She's also very much struggling. Um, they do not like to live without a substrate. Like a place to, you know, crawl around on. Uh, what's it doing? It's trying to move. <laughs> uh, so what is like an organism this small ever doing? They're, 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 or honestly, every organism. It's trying to move somewhere that it wants to be. It's wants it's trying to find food and it's trying to reproduce. Probably food, reproduce, and then just I don't know. Go to a more uh a more good, what's the word? A better environment. I'm sure she doesn't like being under the hot light right now. Um it just kind of looks like she's struggling. Uh tardigrades are they can swim. Uh but they aren't, so you can see like the little, the smaller um, ciliates float, floating by. They are obviously extremely good swimmers. Tardigrades can sort of swim, but I think they actually prefer to sort of hop along, crawl along, along things. And unfortunately for her, this slide, this dish is just too, too smooth for her to really grasp and move along. Uh, often we'll find them uh, on bits of sand, on bits of dirt, uh, which is why I usually grab samples, like like uh, you know, bits of like the larger samples with lots of dirt and sand. You think those are eggs? I just didn't know if they like went so close to her, uh, to their head, because you can kind of see they they run the length of her body, and I've seen them before as like a more dense clutch, you know, kind of mid body. But I believe you, totally believe you. Okay. Well, we might as well just watch her for another couple minutes. No, 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 I'm gonna take her, I'm gonna take her. She's gonna go onto my, my tardigrade slide. Okay. Now, am, can I switch this without screwing up everything? Mirror? Okay. Sorry, I'm just doing some little little bit of reconfiguration so that hopefully it's easier for me. To actually grab her. Uh, they do, uh, they end up all over the place in some species. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> when you have an open oh an open body plan <laughs> it's open concept <laughs> uh you feel like we could use an ai to count the life forms in a sample and identify where they are located what do you mean where they are located uh, do you mean like where the sample itself came from? Got her. I got her. The other thing I want to return to, besides the mazes, the microorganism mazes, I also want to finish um, that program to convert images into DNA sequences. Such a useless thing, but that was a lot of fun. The only problem is I'm very uh, self-conscious when programming in front of people. <laughs> I 
<laughs> not the open concept body plan. <laughs> Is that a turtle grid? No. Now that I found two, why is it so bright? Now that I have found two, it's a. Uh, I'm just very eager to find more. No, to tell us where on the bottom. Oh. Like a like a mapping feature or something. That um that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. So like okay. So what what whoa 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 whoa. whoa. Uh, excuse me. Is this is this reproduction? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to say that we're interrupting something and I'm going to continue to watch. Right? I think, so I think those are two different, are they, are, are these two different, um, I don't even know what they are. Just annelids, just worms. Um, I can't tell if they're attached because they're reproducing. Yes, uh, you're a CS major. If I code, you'll be watching. Oh, uh, well, you know, you won't just be watching. You'll be sighing, shaking your head, and telling me why I'm doing things wrong. Uh, I take the, you know, infinite number of monkeys, infinite number of typewriters approach to coding, which is just that if I type enough stuff down, eventually it will be working code. That's how I code. Okay, I really want to zoom in on these, but it's going to be hard to track them if I if I do too much. I I think I think that isn't attached like where they're attached. If this really is two organisms, otherwise it's very just a very strange shaped worm. Yeah, planarian slash flatworm. I I was looking for uh, more flatwormy uh, features. Can't quite. I just want to say it's a type of roundworm. Actually, because yeah, look at the mouth. Like it's not a nematode, but it's a. Uh, it's roundworm esque. Because nematodes, not nematodes. Uh, flatworms don't have mouths. Like this, they have their mouths elsewhere. Like they don't have them on the tip of their bodies. I don't think. Then again, I don't know all flatworms, so. Okay, this worm is interesting, but they've kind of got to get out of this rough spot. Okay, uh, Twitch guy too. Anyways, um, I feel like so. I feel like the way you'd have to do that is um, like what you proposed is. Um, sorry, I'm losing my train of thought. Oh no, 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 no! I'm losing my train of thought every time because it it leaves. Um have to build some sort of like step motor to like automatically move throughout the slide because unfortunately even though we are um like looking at, at like a zoomed in portion there's no way to look at the entire slide all at once on this um maybe to get a rough idea of where things are like slide around mark all the uh microorganisms or whatever index them you wouldn't be able to track them in real time. But then again, you're also, I feel like an, an alternative idea that maybe is more what you meant is like at any one instance. So if I zoom out, you know, automatically would detect all the microorganisms in one area. That'd be cool too. I don't know how to do that. Some like live, so there's a lot of, um, there's a program called Fiji which is an image analysis program uh, for scientists. Uh, there are lots of plugins, and I'm sure someone made a, like a, a motion tracking plugin that can deal with me zooming around a slide like this while motion tracking everything else. 
I don't know. I'm just trying to think about how that would work. It's an interesting idea. It'd be cool. In fact, I, I wonder if someone's already done it, but then they sell the, the software for, you know, tons of money. What is that? That's nothing. That is nothing. All right. Yeah, so, you, you know, now that you've got me talking, you know, I might do some of that programming sometime this week. Um, I have some extra time this week, which is very rare, and I really want to make a push to getting 60 days streamed, which opens up another a free tier of emotes that uh, people can use. So you can use emotes even if you're not subscribed, because I'd rather that be the case. Also opens up more emote slots. Um, so since I have some extra time this week, I might use that to stream more that definitely exists i yeah it yeah it definitely exists um so maybe i'll do uh, some of that programming one of those days i'll just be very explicit about it so if you don't want to sit there and listen to me slash watch me struggle through our programming which is not the ideal thing to program in anyways it's just the only thing i know how to do um then you could avoid it Otherwise, Wednesday, sci-fi stream. Be there. Okay, I'm not seeing any more tardigrades, and it is about time for me to end for the day. Yeah. So I think I'm going to call it there. All right. Oh, my cat just came. Come up here, kitty. Come say hello. Normally I have the door closed. Um... But not today. Weasel. Can you say hello? She doesn't want to say hello. Hazel. Okay, you're going to step on my power button. Okay. All right. All right, so we need to find someone to raid. Does anyone have any suggestions? Better go to Twitch to figure this out. Dashboard.twitch. Uh, I assume sci <laughs> science is always uh, uh, streaming about this time. If Balin isn't still here, I assume that they're streaming. Otherwise, let's see. Science streams already stream for the day. <laughs> oh, good. Everyone saw the. Oh, everyone saw the cat. Hazel, come here. She's just off to the side. Actually, 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 hold on, hold on. I can do this. Uh, one second. Cat. Aesthetic cat. Uh, rotate? Rotate? Flip, flip, there we go. Anyways, okay. Oh, what causes the water to be so smelly? <laughs> no, it's just because it has rotting plant matter in it. That's why it's so smelly. It's nothing I've done, except keep the water with rotting plant matter in a jar for multiple weeks. That, you could say, is my fault. But other than that, no. It's not my fault. All right. Wow, I can really tell. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. Uh, 
Goldenek, subscribe at tier one for six months in advance? Wow, thank you very much. Also, I don't think I recognize your name. Wow, thank you very much. That's awesome. Uh, also, what a way, what a way to uh, to end stream. But yeah, uh, oh, my bot is uh, mentioning it right now. Yeah, if you're if anyone is interested and hasn't already, we have a Discord. Um, let's find someone to raid right now. Also, I realize that my bitrate is so bad. It's fine. Google Fiber Fiber is coming. Okay, science. Science is on. <laughs> yeah. Hello and take care. Well, hello to you. Yeah. Sorry that um, your first time chat is like right when we're leaving, but I will be on. You know, Wednesday for sure. Maybe peppered out through this week because I have some extra time. We'll do some stuff. We'll uh we'll get to know each other. Okay. Let's raid science. Thank you everyone for coming. Um, I will see everyone, yes, randomly this week, but definitely come Wednesday because that's going to be an amazing stream, I think. Uh, otherwise, have a good rest of your weeks. Bye.